Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall channel. Your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back again, everybody. We are back with another fragrance review right here, guys, on my lovely day off. And today, I will be talking about the latest Kajal fragrance. That's right, the latest Kajal fragrance that I know a lot of y'all have been wanting for me to review. And so here we go, guys. Here's a no hype breakdown on this latest Kajal. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys, okay? Liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel, especially that we are headed towards 23,000 subscribers. So please continue all your support, guys. Deep dive into my over 700 no hype videos. They're really, really great, guys. Thank you so much for your support. And the fragrance that I will be talking about today is none other than the latest Kajal fragrance for 2024. This is none other than Icon. Yes, Kajal Icon. Yes, this one right here. I believe that this is starting to become popular in the fragrance community. And Kajal, in my opinion, I think is a brand or a house that just cannot do wrong, all right? They are consistently producing really, really great fragrances that really are, I would say, moderately complex. You can't really say that they're easy to understand mainstream. They're actually part niche, part mainstream. And for some reason, the mainstream loves their fragrances, no matter what, even if they are moderately complex. Now, this fragrance right here, Icon, means gold. Although, to be honest, I could not find a link between the word Icon and gold. I asked Kajal themselves. They said that it's gold. So let's just leave it at that, okay? This apparently means gold. And this fragrance, like I said, had an impact on me when I tried it. So here we are to review it. Can't wait to tell you all about this fragrance right here. Let's go spray this thing right now. Mm. Okay guys, now let's talk about this fragrance right here, Kajal Icon. And definitely, I'm going to say that this opening is one of the highlights of this fragrance. It could possibly make you fall in love at first sniff or knock your socks off. But either way, what an amazing opening. And right here in the opening, you're going to get pineapple, mandarin, passion fruit, as well as the early appearance of ginger. And when I saw this combination, I was like, wait a minute, this is another way of using kind of like the Tigar formula, which is basically grapefruit and ginger together, kind of gives you that Tigar smell. And yes, there is somewhat of a Tigar smell right here. On the underbelly of this fragrance, you will really detect somewhat of a Tigar smell. But again, the slight modification is a juicy pineapple. Now, the big game changer here is going to be passion fruit. All right, passion fruit, I've said, I really believe is the next mango, the next grapefruit, the next big spring summer note, fruity note here in the fragrance community, guys. And wow, what a nice, strong, tropical passion fruit hitting you guys right here. Very uplifting, actually. So this is a nice lingering passion fruit right here with a slight Tigar-ish backdrop. So this one I really think will be loved by many, especially those that haven't really experienced the Tigar formula, plus the passion fruit, a nice lingering burst of juicy passion fruit here, kind of tropical. And I'm gonna say that it doesn't even feel really tropical. I can't say it's completely tropical. It uses or utilizes the nice burst of passion fruit, but you still have that nice gent scent, you know, kind of like that tigar, warm spice of ginger plus pineapple. Man, it is unbelievably good. Okay, now let's talk about initial sillage and projection because this one right here really checks off the boxes for me, all right? When I spray this fragrance, for those that own this fragrance, this is the type of sillage and projection that I wish for every single fragrance. You know why, guys? Because it is consistent, it's an aura scent, it's kind of strong, maybe even room filling, but it's just not invasive, guys, all right? So it's a nice aura scent, lingering scent, but also because you have the early appearance of ginger, guys, it is also a draw in scent, guys, all right? Now, on the latter part of the opening, you're gonna get mandarin. And mandarin, as you guys know, is a type of citrus that signals a curve, a gradient, if you will. So the mandarin comes on the latter stage of this fragrance, maybe even gives a little bit of aquatic vibes right here. 
But like I said, guys, you're going to get the ginger as well, the spice that sets it up. Tiger style, guys. But passion fruit, really amazing on this intro. Okay, now let's head into the mid of Kajal Icon. And the mid, in my opinion, starts at an hour. And you still have some remnants of that Mandarin bridging over into the mid, guys. Now, the mid is going to be spicy, all right? The ginger definitely gets much stronger. You get a little bit of taste of that ginger in the beginning mixed in with that pineapple. But in the mid of Icon, it gets spicy good with the zing of ginger, guys. Now, on top of that ginger, you're going to get some black pepper as well to really increase the masculinity of this fragrance. And like I said, this is where you have a shape shift into kind of like a sensual, gent scent, spicy type of transition into this fragrance. Now, the balancer in the mid of Icon is going to be Jasmine, all right? It is a nice floral sweet balancer just to balance things out. And you do smell that Jasmine as part of an uplifting smell here in the mid of this fragrance. But make no mistake, this is where ginger is a hit and the black pepper supports it in the spiciness, guys. So again, really, really nice transition. Again, to me, I feel like this is a gent scent, but with a burst of, you know, that really nice pineapple and passion fruit combination as kind of like a wake up, kind of like a mood enhancing and an attention grabbing, all right? Very attention grabbing intro that then eventually transitions into what it is, a nice gent scent. Okay, now let's head into the dry down of Kajal Icon. And I said this in the beginning of the video that Kajal really makes some moderately complex fragrances, okay? Although the mainstream loves them, these are also very nice niche type fragrances. And the dry down is exactly that because you've got praline coming in here, guys, as early as the four hour mark. So like I said, the mid is dominated by sensual spices with a balancer of jasmine. Four hours in, guys, this gourmand praline just comes in. It's a kind of like chocolatey, confectionery, uh, really gourmand style warming that comes in as early as the four hour mark. And for gourmand lovers, this is a nice switch and it's set up also by the nice sensual spices, guys, all right? Now, alongside the praline, you're gonna get vanilla. You're gonna get a very prominent patchouli note that to me is kind of like, you know, it's very tenacious, it's very woody, it's very earthy, and it's very manly, guys. So you're gonna get some patchouli, you're gonna get some vetiver as well with some sandalwood, guys. But the big one right here for me, like I said, is that praline that starts at four hours in and it sets up a gourmand sensual ending in this fragrance icon. Now, with that being said, guys, just on these three stages alone, what a nice like shift of gears, wouldn't you say, guys? Because just imagine like wearing this fragrance, you have this nice boost of passion fruit, guys, that's gonna grab everybody uh, across the room. And then you also have that Tiger style with pineapple instead that goes into sensual spices and then a nice gourmand praline, right? Like four hours in. So I'm just like, man, this fragrance has many faces, all right? But they are very effective and compliment getting. And this last part, like I said, with praline, patchouli, and vanilla is definitely the final draw in right here. Very sensual. Like, I feel like this should be kind of worn with a semi-formal to formal outfit, to be honest. But it's very draw-in and on the late dry down, you're going to get patchouli and woods. Some vanilla here in the ending, the late, late ending of this fragrance. Ultimately, guys, I like this scent. I would rate this as a 9 out of 10 just because this fragrance has a lot of very effective facets, likable facets, and contrasting actually because you have the tropical tropical fruits, the pineapple, and, you know, the passion fruit in the beginning, really nice and lingering and actually room conquering. But then eventually, guys, you have that masculine, 
uh, gent scent pull with that ginger, with that black pepper, guys. Uh, and then ultimately, this gourmand dry down. Now, in my opinion, this fragrance is unisex. It can be worn, though, by guys and girls. Maybe the mid is more masculine, but definitely it is unisex because of the start and end being very unisex. Okay, guys, now let's talk about total performance. It started to rain outside, so I had to bring in my equipment uh, into the shade, guys. But the total performance of this fragrance is over 12 hours, obviously. And I would say still that the highlight reel is going to be how consistently strong the sillage is towards the finish line. Most fragrances, honestly, after the six hour mark, they really turn faint. But this one right here stays thick and consistent with the sillage as if you had just sprayed uh, this fragrance, guys. All right. There's something that Kajal knows about performance that other fragrance houses don't. And maybe they can teach them at some point, guys. All right. But again, really great performance. Burst of tropical fruits in the beginning, but then warming and thick and gourmand and, you know, patchouli towards the end. Really nice performance right here. And usage-wise, guys, this fragrance is super versatile, definitely. Just because it has passion fruit and pineapple doesn't mean that it's restricted for the spring and summer because there is mandarin that transitions in a very nice, sultry, spicy mid and a gourmand patchouli dry down, guys. So this is not just that. To me, it is a very versatile fragrance that you guys can use indoor AC environments all the way up to even the fall winter season because like i said the strength is there and to me again to me it's masculine but it can be unisex because of the first and last parts of the fragrance mid is definitely masculine and that is it that is my no hype review on kajal icon it's starting to rain guys i'm almost out of here guys let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this fragrance i'm sure you guys have a lot to say since you've probably tested and owned this fragrance it's kind of like a late new fragrance review so anyways thank you so much for watching i'm gonna head inside because it's about to rain i'll see you guys on the next video please do not forget to like and subscribe god bless take care peace